that is absolute in power, absolute in knowledge, absolute in grace, absolutely absolute. All of us human beings are relative. You are only relatively real. You are only relatively great. You are only relatively strong. You are only relatively happy. In fact, this moment you can be happy and the next moment you can be so anxious and sad that you will not even remember. Uh, you will not recall how it feels to be happy. So, this Allah that I bring last time to you from here is um, aware of the nature that he has given to you. He's aware that you are human. He's aware that you are not the way you look, even as you are sitting. You are not exactly the way you look. Yes, that you are different. I will turn to him of, of uh, repentance at all times. As much as we see, he is ready multiple times to forgive us. So today, we just want to look at why sin? Why has Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala allowed sin? Why has he enabled us to be able to commit sin? It is still within his power uh, to make us like the angels who had no capacity to sin. And we need to understand the dimension of sin. Uh, I don't want to say because I have a lecture elsewhere in the course of next week um, by that title, The Anatomy of Sin. So today I'm not looking at the anatomy of sin, I'm just looking at sin um, as we know it and perhaps as we don't know it. And the fact that Allah is entirely merciful in spite of our many sins, but for His grace, but for His mercy, this world, because of our sin, will have ceased to exist. Allah will have destroyed the world many times over on account of our sin. There is no day we do not commit sin. There is no hour that people are not committing sin. There is no moment that they are, that they are not sinful. But because of the overwhelming mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He is still ready to forgive us. Like it is said in a hadith, that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will stretch out his hand, figuratively speaking, every morning because he wants to forgive those who have sinned through the night. And every night he will stretch out his hand. When I say his hand, I'm speaking figuratively because Allah is not like us. He is not a being like us. He is a totally different being. And everything we imagine is just the opposite of how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is. But every evening, He stretches out His hand so that those who have seen through the night, through uh, um, um, the, the day, will ask for forgiveness and He will forgive them. So, twice every day, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala waiting and ready for those who have fallen short, for those who have fallen into errors, for those who have committed sin, he's just waiting for them to say, oh Allah, I have committed a sin. I am sorry. I have repented. Please forgive me. When in Nahu Yatubu ilallahi mataba and Allah will forgive all those who care, who make effort to ask to sincerely repent and ask for his forgiveness. Brothers and sisters,